guys, Lady Lex UK, and this is a Dreams Gadget tutorial. We've got to prize bubble, which is part of gameplay gear, and immediately you can see this is unusual. This is not like the other gadgets that you've seen. Um, this is an object. We've got an object on the end of our imp, it's sort of a metallic bubble, and we can place that in our world. Now, this is an unusual gadget in that it cannot be placed inside a microchip. Um, so here's our microchip here. If I open it up, there's no way of getting our prize bubble in there. It doesn't work like a gadget at all. And uh, also, we cannot uh, use the prize bubble as if it was a sculpture. You can't snap, surface snap, a microchip to a prize bubble. So it is neither a gadget nor a sculpture. It's something in its own its own way. Um, not being able to put a prize bubble into a microchip I find is a little problematic because there are things I'd want to do with it um, which means you're going to have to wire into microchips and have uh, loads of wires all over the place. Um, it's unfortunate but that's the way it's been built. Um, so what is a prize bubble? Well it's a sort of leftover from Little Big Planet really. Uh, in Little Big Planet the game mechanic, the main game mechanic was um, to collect bubbles which contained uh, objects inside uh, which are uh, added to your asset collection so that you can make better games. Um, that's not really a game mechanic in Dreams. All of the stuff that people make is popped into the Dreamiverse um, for you to access or view or whatever. Um, it, there isn't this collect in order to have assets aspect to Dreams. Uh, probably a good job um, b because you don't want to have to be grinding through um, level after level in order to get enough stuff together so that you could actually make something in Dreams. Uh, that isn't what Dreams is about at all. Um, anybody who's played Little Big Planet uh, 3 and had found they have to grind and grind and grind in order to get anything um, will know it's, it's, not, it's not the most fun thing. So... Uh, we have these prize bubbles. They are strangely random in the Dreamiverse. Uh, hardly anybody uses them. Um, I have seen them. I have seen prizes pop up in games. People say you've collected one prize out of five or whatever. Um, it's not something that you can use really as a collectible, um, like um, like rings in Sonic or things like that. I wouldn't recommend you use it for that. I recommend if you wanted to do that sort of thing, you create your own object and use that. But there are some really interesting aspects to the prize bubble um, that we can utilise in Dreams that maybe I don't think has been used. So let's have a look at the tweak menu. So um, L1 and Square opens up the prize bubbles tweak menu. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So... Uh, the, the top one, this is where you put your item. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that for now. Um, and then we've got a series of toggles. These are on or off. So you've got visible, the sound, collectible by imp, and collectible by possess. So you can turn these on and off. And then we have two, I have an input and an output. This one uh, collects it with a, send a pulse, and that will automatically collect the uh, the prize bubble and this one will sends out a pulse to say I've just popped um, so let's have a look and see what the prize bubble does uh, in normal gameplay let's see what it is right let's just close down our treat menu so we'll put down a uh, an ordinary guy go into play mode I walk up to my prize bubble it expands, explodes, and there's a special effect in the sound. So there we go, that's our prize ball, that's what it does. There was no prize in it, so it didn't give us a prize. But you could use that as um, for, for something if you wanted. Now I've rewound it, and my prize ball comes back. Now, there is a bug uh, in the prize bubble in this visible uh, toggle. Right. I haven't, I haven't unticked this. If you untick this, that means you can see invisible objects. I haven't unticked it. I've left it as it is. 
I'm going to make this invisible. Now, normally, when you turn the visibility of a prop off, it disappears in the Dreamiverse. Let me just show you. Here's a sculpt. If I was to turn the visibility of it off, there we go, it does that. The prize bubble doesn't. See, that's what a normal sculpt will do. The prize bubble doesn't do anything. So there's no way of telling at this particular time whether or not you've set that to visible or invisible uh, in your create mode. However, I've made it invisible. Let's have a look and see what we get. So we know the prize bubble is in front of that box. Okay, it's invisible, uh, but becomes visible as soon as you collect it. Right, so it's gone. I'll press rewind. And it's still gone. It's invisible. And you can't uh, access its tweak menu um, because you can't find it. It's gone. However, preview invisibility and back it comes. So that's a bug. It's a bit of a weird one. Um, I don't think that's supposed to work like that at all. So either it should be semi-transparent um, and always so, but it's not. It's completely invisible and you have to turn uh, this on in order to see it. So let's open up its tweet menu and make it visible so we don't have to worry about that. So that's the visibility tag and its little bug. Then we've got... Um, built-in sound so um, it plays that really nice little sound if we turn that off go in there we go it doesn't make any sound anymore and you can put in your own sound so let's do that so let's say you wanted a completely different sound for collecting that bubble you'd usually just collected that sends a pulse so we're going to uh, we're going to sound mode and sound effects. And we go, let's use a level up sound effect. And we wire that to the power. And there we go. It's created that lovely sound effect. So you can change the sound effect to make it uh, more your own. Um, collectible by imp, collectible by possessed. Um, so you can have it so that you can only collect it by imp or you can only collect it by possessed. You just toggle these backwards and forwards, both on, both off, one on, etc. Um, if you collect, put them both off, then obviously you just get the bubble and you can walk through it, but it won't collect it. Now that might be useful for you in a game uh, for, for some sort of purpose other than the prize bubble to have this this object that you can't uh, um, move or interact with. Um, and like I say, you could always send a pulse by wire to force collect. So you could um, create a whole uh, program involved where um, Maybe there's a trigger zone around this bubble and uh, a button press to press uh, before it gets collected. So you, you could you could build this up so that it, it is completely unique to you and your game. Right, now let's, let's put a, put those back on. Let's put a prize inside our bubble. Um, you click on item. And it gets you into the Dreamiverse. You've got My Creations or the Dreamiverse. Um, and this is also where you can see the prizes. So this is the prizes that people have already given me in their games. There they are. That's how many prizes I've collected over time. And that's a whole year of prizes. Most of them are Media Molecule prizes for my home space. And that's it. So you can see hardly anybody uses it to give you prizes, so um, it's not a surprise really. So let's say we wanted this to be our prize. As you can see, the picture 
has appeared inside our bubble. Let's make it nice and big, you can see. That is the cover photo um, of that element. Now, that makes this a rather interesting proposition. There is no other way of getting cover photos into your game. If you wanted to create a hub world with lots of uh, dream levels in, it makes it a little bit um, awkward. You can't really uh, do it because you, you can't use cover photos to put in. However, this is a way of doing it. Um, it will only pick up the cover photo off of an element. You can only put an element in here. So you would have to save um, a, a dream or a scene cover photo onto an element. So let's let's do that, shall we? We'll come out of here. We'll create a an element. Okay. So we'll save that. We're gonna save our element. I don't need, there we go, that'll do. Now at the moment this is just a block and that's its cover picture. So if we go into um, our object like this and press customize, set background photograph, you can go into my creations and you can find a cover picture from a scene or a dream and choose that. So now I've got an object with a picture from a dream. Like so. It's got nothing to do with the element whatsoever, but there it is. So now we'll start fresh with our game. We'll put in our prize bubble and we'll select the element. There we go. And now I've got a picture from a scene in my level and you can use that um, to level link to various games and things uh, in your game you would possibly turn these off um, and create your own mechanic uh, maybe with a trigger zone like I say um, or you know got button presses to select which level you want to go to but that is a way of getting uh, a cover photo I know it's not the most ideal um, but that's that is a way of doing it to create a hub of games with the pictures of the games actually in your hub that's a way to do it with bubbles uh, I might make a tutorial to actually demonstrate that as a, as a proper hub at a later date in fact uh, I'll probably do that next week um, so there we go that's a, a way of using the the prize bubble um okay you're giving away a cube um if you uh but as as a prize but you're not going to give this as a prize you're not going to make it collectible so nobody's going to get this level as a prize um what you'll do is you'll make a program that just has this as a as a visual um image there so we're not actually going to use that as a prize bubble there we are it's really um one of those weird things in dreams which um you could you could imagine using but hardly anybody does um and because the game mechanic isn't necessary but there we go thank you for watching hope that was interesting and useful um like i say i'll try and make a, a tutorial on the use of prize bubbles to make uh level hubs um, probably next week. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in your dreams.